Hi, we're here today at Amy's Bread and we're here with Paul and we're going to come together and make the perfect dinner party bread basket. Now what I like to do, Paul, is I love to create the beautiful bread basket taking into consideration what I'm going to be making with my meals. Um, then, just visually speaking, I love a lot of variety and a lot of textures in the bread basket. And I also think, just a little hint for everyone, it's also such a great hostess gift too, to give to someone to create this basket and bring. Um, tell us some um, information about some of the breads you offer. Sure, absolutely. Well, this little basket here uh, contains a lot of our favorites. Down here we have our semolina raisin fennel roll, which is our signature bread here. Mm -hmm. um, we have some nuttier rolls, some with raisins, our walnut raisin, and our whole wheat oat pecan uh, roll right down here. A very nice, kind of sweet, uh, and has a little crunch mm -hmm. uh, to the texture as well. We have our demi baguette back here in the uh, back. It's a, a typical French baguette that rivals any French baguette you'll ever have. Very, very tasty. Amazing. Personally, what I would do, I would classically grab the baguette and I would, <laughs> I would slice it and make some beautiful bruschetta crostini with it. And also this fennel bread, by the way, how amazing is this? If you, if you cut this just at the angle like you were showing me before, look at this, just the shape of this and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And some of the sweetness in here yeah. would go great with some of the spicier hummus as and, well. And great smoky cheeses as well. Um, a nice goat cheese or something a little uh, heartier, like a Munster cheese, uh, it goes very, very well with. And I'm also thinking with more of the nuttier breads like this, a beautiful ricotta with a drizzle of honey as well. I think that would look great. What I love to do is when I'm planning a dinner party, the very last item I go by fresh is the bread so I can get it nice and crispy and sometimes even warm. So now, if we were to store it for the day, how would you do that? Well, for the day, it's very, very simple. We always suggest buying your bread, as you do, mm -hmm. um, the day of your event. Then you know you're gonna have the freshest product possible. Here at Amy's Bread, we bake our bread every single day, multiple times a day, all fresh product. So just keep it in the paper bag until you're ready to serve it. It's right. very, very simple. It's and another little handy tip too, is if you just need to put it aside for an hour to keep it fresh, is if you cut it open like this, you can just put it down and set it down like that on your cutting board so that the outside stays crusty and the inside stays chewy. So now if you're gonna keep it for day two, what do you do? So what you're gonna do, you're just gonna wanna put some saran wrap around it. Yes. So it's not gonna get nice and crispy. Yes. Now if you're keeping it a few days longer, what we're gonna suggest, you wrap it uh, the entire loaf whatever you're not going to use, mm -hmm. wrap it in saran wrap, then wrap it in foil and place it in your freezer. And then you're gonna be able to keep it for as long as you need. What you wanna do when you pull it out of your freezer when you're ready to use it, you're just gonna take some water on your fingertips and you're gonna uh, go like this right over the bread, mm -hmm. put it in the oven for a few moments, warm it up, and it's gonna taste like the day you bought it. About 400 degrees for about six to eight minutes and it'll be delicious. Absolutely. And if worse comes to worse and it does get stale, who cares? You chop it up and make a nice panzanella salad. Exactly. So here we are. You come to Amy's Bread and you can have some of these. We have our fresh made biscottis and we have our uh, semolina raisin fennel crisps, which are a great art for dipping because they're a little crunchier. It's like yeah. a, a bread chip almost. There you are. So you don't even have to toast it yourself. You can just right. go ahead and put this around your you dip plate as well too. You. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate your time. And so happy holidays with your beautiful bread basket.